Right, Corbin, welcome to Hull College Craven Park. It's great to have you here. Um, you've done your first week of training. First of all, how have you found it? Yeah, it's been really good so far. Um, obviously, getting used to training in the cold is a lot different to um, what I'm used to in Australia, but quite enjoying getting around the boys and you know they're really taking me in and welcoming me, which is always handy um, being the new guy to the club. It's a strong set of lads and it's, it's what we found over the years. It's a really close personal group here. Um, what have you found with the, with the coaching staff like Tony Smith and Danny Maguire? Yeah, I've, I've been really enjoying their uh, knowledge of the, the game and the club as well. So, you know, um, TS and I, we speak a fair bit each day that I'm at training. And, you know, the calibre of coaches that we have around the club has just been great. Um, I'm looking really looking forward to what we can put together in the next couple of weeks leading into March uh, 11 for our first game. Now it's a little bit colder, maybe a little bit greyer than Sydney, but what was your initial thoughts at Hull College Craven Park? I love it around here actually. It's really cool. Um staying, you know, staying in Hull at the moment and really, really enjoying my time there and you know it's a pretty cruisy area. Uh, obviously with lockdown it's not the not the best time that um, the UK has at the at the moment, but you know, being around here and being able to get around to training as well, uh, we're lucky enough to be able to do that because there's so many people out in, in the country that are doing it much worse than we are so counting my blessings being able to come over here and actually train at um, Craven Park and be able to get around the boys each day. I know you said it's in lockdown but have you had a chance to look around the city see what you know see some of the places see some of the sites? Yeah well the first uh, the first week that I was here I didn't have a car so I was covering probably six to eight miles a day uh, walking to and from different shops and then coming home and relaxing and then figuring out I forgot something at the shop so I had to go back out but it's been good because I've been able to actually walk around and you know sort of get a bit of an idea of um, which way to go for what for where I need to be and um, uh, Sean Kenny Dow has been great for me he's been um, he lives past me so he he was grabbing me on the way to training and heading in so um, forming a tight-knit little bond with him as well and then um, just getting around the boys the rest of the English lads that I don't know, um, you know, making it making it a little bit of a mission of mine to get around each and every one of them and try and get to know them a little bit um, in the next couple of weeks into the start of the season. You mentioned start of the season. It's, it seems like it's quite a while away. It's still nine weeks for the provisional date for the start of it. But being here, touching down in Hull and getting into the stadium, does that get you excited for what's to come? Yeah, the pitch looks amazing at the moment. You know, um, the greenskeeper here at the moment, he's doing a great job and... Um, you know, it's not easy to you know grow crop or grow anything over here in the cold climate. So, you know, he's doing a fantastic job. He's he's told us to he's barred us from being on the field at all, at all. So, you know, we're training out the back and we're getting our reps in out there. And you know, which is which is actually a really good idea because once we get on this park, we'll we'll know how special it'll be. And you know, I'm sure he'll take care of it for us leading into the start of the season. And you know, the boys are just keen to rip in. Cheers, Cobb. Thanks very much. Thank you.